Hey guys, welcome to another MEA Bros tutorial. Today we're going to be making this simple ocean in Blender 2.8. If you like our content, be sure to subscribe and yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, um, once you open up Blender, select your cube, hit X, then um, delete, then hit Shift A, then um, click Mesh, and then Plane. Okay, um, I'm just going to move this a little bit so I can get a nice view on this. Then after that, I'm going to slide this um, slider down. Then I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to click this. Then I'm going to get um, Shader Editor. I'm going to go to Shader Editor. Then I'm going to hit um, New. Um, um, yeah, I'm going to zoom so you can see what I'm doing. And um, I'm going to hit um, Shift A. Then uh, Input. Then um, UV Map. Okay, um, once I place the UV map, I'm going to um, hit Shift A again. Then I'm going to go to Vector, and then Mapping. Okay, now I'm going to hit Texture. I'm going to hit um, Shift A again. Then I'm going to click um, Texture, and then Noise Texture. But yeah, I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna set this to like, I think I should go for 10. Cause 10 will be good. Go to 10. Yeah, 10. Then I'm gonna set this to two, I mean to three. Once I set that to three, I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna connect these two. Then after I'm gonna collect the, um, this input to this output. Okay, I think I'm gonna need to duplicate these cause I need four cause I don't feel like Clicking Shift A again. So I'm um, click Shift D to duplicate. Then um, once I've duplicated that, I'm gonna um, connect these two. Okay. Um, yeah. And then after I'm gonna hit Shift A, Shift A again. Then color, and then mix. Okay. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna collect. I mean, I'm gonna connect this color input to this output. And this input to this output. Okay, then after that, I'm gonna connect this to a normal. And I'm gonna see how this looks. We're gonna go to the world setting. I think that's world. Wait. Oh, I forgot to um set this transparent. But yeah, I need to turn down the roughness first. Then I'm gonna go down to um transfer, transparent. Wait. Supposed to supposed to be um color now. Wait, did I miss anything? Oh, I forgot. This is transparent. That was transparent roughness. But yeah, I'm gonna turn this back down and I'm gonna um, go to um, transparent transparency. I'm gonna bring this to um to one. Okay. Um. Oh, I feel, I missed one thing. I missed one more thing. I forgot what it was though. Oh yeah, the bump map. I need to um, I need to set a bump map. But yeah, but first I'm gonna um, turn this down a little bit. No, I'm not really sure if I should mess with this thing. But yeah, I need to add the bump map. I'm gonna turn this a little bit down. I'm not really sure if I should mess with this one though. You know, I'll just set it to one. But yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna add a bump map now. But first, I'm just gonna um, move a little bit of things. So, yeah, I'm gonna move these so I can add a bump map. Okay, I'm gonna hit Shift A and then Texture. No, no, wait, I'm not gonna go on Vector, then Bump. Then um, I'm gonna add um I'm gonna put this into height. Okay, I'm gonna move this and set it up so I can um so everything can be set up nice. So I'm gonna move these a little bit because I need a little bit of room on that. So yeah. Yeah, in Blender 2.8 the node editor actually looks a little bit nice, but oh yeah, I'm gonna set this to normal. Connect that one to normal, to the normals map. And I think I need to um put the Put the arms um, okay, mix the mix um, back to normal and bring this. I'm gonna put this to um, you could just type up one 0 0.1 and 
and it'll give you um your exact it's gonna give it exactly like one or something and i'm gonna put this back to how it used to be it used to be five i think five or something but yeah yeah here's the basic water but we're we gonna add um i think i'm gonna add a beam and i'm yeah and i need to animate this so go back to the um to these to these mappings then um, we're gonna go next here and hit I. We're gonna hit I. Wait, first I'm gonna go back. We need to go back from the beginning. Then we're gonna hit I. Okay, once you've hit I, we're gonna hit I to this one too. We're gonna hit I. Then that's gonna set a keyframe. That's gonna have to. We're gonna go over here to the end. Then we're gonna um, set this one. We're gonna set this to um, 5.5. Yeah, we're gonna hit it to 0.5. I'm just gonna type it. Yeah, 0.5. Okay, um, then this one is going to be the negative of that. So that's basically going to be, um, yeah, negative of five. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to hit I to make keyframe there. And we're going to hit I again over here. Okay, once you've done that, um, your an it should be an animation now. So you should, um, see... It should be like this, like you see like basic water just flowing. And yeah, it shouldn't take that much computer resources. All is it all it is is just um it's not it's not really an EV, just um I'm not really sure what the other one's called, but yeah, it's not really rendering like an EV or something, so you don't have to worry about performance. But yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pause that. And um if you if you if you guys wanna um, know the exact nodes I've been using, here are they. So yeah, you can go check them out. They're gonna be in the description too. I'm gonna um, make a list of all the nodes that I used, and you can just watch this video to see exact my um, exact proportions and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go to um, render and then I hit beam, and it should get like a little bit of light, like if it's a sun above it or something like that. But yeah, here's a basic water. It's basically a little river or something in Blender 2.8, and yeah. Um, oh yeah, here's the, here's the environment environment lighting that we were using. The HDR basically. It's not really an HDR, but like it comes with Blender. And yeah, here's. It. Okay, guys, if you liked that video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to MEA Bros. And hit that bell notification so you can be notified when we put out a new video.